Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we focus on metals, mining, and more. I'm your host, Maurice Jackson. Today, we will discuss a company that has established itself as a premier project generator. I'm speaking of Milrock Resources, trading on the TSXV symbol MRO and on the OTCQX symbol MLRKF. Joining us today is Gregory Beischer. He is the president, CEO, and director of Milrock Resources. Mr. Beischer, Welcome to the show, sir. Hi, Maurice. Very glad to be back talking with you. It's been a little while. It has, sir. Always a pleasure to have you on our show. In our last interview, we discussed Milrock Resources' La Navidad Gold Project, and you were addressing the initial drill results there. Today, Milrock has informed the market that a second round of drilling has commenced at the La Navidad Gold Project. Gregory, before we get into the press release, where is the La Navidad Gold Project located? Well, it's uh, in Sonora State. That's northwestern portion of Mexico, just uh, south of uh, the state of Arizona and uh, uh, north of the city of Hermosillo. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, just a really great uh, mining state, mining community. Uh, people there are very welcoming. Uh, they understand and make a lot of money from mining, and uh, uh, we feel very welcome there. What are some of the strategic advantages of being there? Well, there's a lot of uh, support industries surrounding the active mines uh, and the, the numerous uh, exploration companies. Uh, uh, the people there know what they're doing. There's good uh, technical talent and uh, just, just an overall uh, vibrant mining community. Taking us now onto the La Navidad Gold Project, describe the metallurgy for us. Sure, uh, Maurice, uh, what, what we're looking for uh, in this uh, area is what uh, us geologists call an orogenic uh, gold deposit. So these are uh, large volume, uh, typically low grade uh, deposits where a large volume of rock uh, with a little bit of gold can be processed uh, at very low cost uh, methods uh, by run of mine uh, heap leach processing. So it costs very, very little uh, to uh, process the ore and that allows mining companies uh, to produce uh, gold uh, from low grade but large volumes. And so that's what we seek and uh, we've got some pretty darn good signs of such a deposit uh, on, on the La Navidad project. As, uh, as we last discussed, uh, Millrock had announced uh, results from a drilling program that we conducted last November and December, and so we talked about those in March. And, uh, uh, you know, since then, though, since February, really, our team has been running flat out. Uh, we uh, have uh, done a, a great deal of soil sampling, uh, <clears throat> uh, digging trenches with excavators and bulldozers so that we can expose the bedrock at surface, uh, collect rock samples, and uh, we've done uh, a variety of geophysical surveys to help us image what's beneath the surface. So we were focusing primarily on the Cobre and crossover prospect areas, which are to the northwest of the original drilling that we'd done last December um, uh, at the Anchor Prospect. So we got, uh, you know, the, the Cobre and, uh, and uh, Crossover are, are quite large, strong uh, gold and soil anomalies. So there, there's uh, size potential indicated. We found altered rocks over uh, a widely distributed area, and uh, the trench results were pretty good. We've got the the grade that we'd be seeking for an orogenic uh, heap leach uh, type uh, gold project. Uh, so that's all good, uh, but uh, we started the program, uh, the drilling program, uh, just last night, and um, we're starting by re-entering one of the holes, in fact, uh, hole number 10 from the original program, 
uh, to deepen it. Uh, we had uh, cut the hole off because uh, it was becoming uh, late in the, the season, almost Christmas, and uh, the budget was tightened, so we'd, we'd cut the hole off at 250 meters. But uh, in fact, uh, we we knew the rock was still quite altered, and sure enough, uh, there was gold in it right at the bottom of the hole. So that's how we'll start this program, deepen a hole 10 at the Anchor Prospect, and then it's on to uh, Cobra and cross over to uh, test uh, some of the great targets that have been developed there since uh, the start of February. Switching gears, the Sprott Natural Resource Symposium is fast approaching. Millwreck Resources once again has been hand selected by Rick Rule to be an attendee. What an accomplishment! Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's uh, you know, great to be going back there, there again to that conference in Vancouver. And uh, uh, well, it feels a little surprising that uh, almost a whole year is, has gone by uh, since you and I met there uh, last year. And uh, uh, it really is an honor. Uh, you know, the 50 or 60 companies that are invited to present uh, are uh, hand selected by uh, Sprott Global Resources and, and the team of uh, brokers and analysts uh, that work there. So we're very pleased to be counted uh, amongst that uh, uh, upper tier of uh, early stage explorers and developers. And for our listeners, as a reminder, uh, you may get tickets on our website for the Sprott Natural Resource Symposium, which will be conducted in Vancouver the 17th through the 20th of July. Greg, we've, we've discussed the La Navidad Gold Project. Talk to us about other projects in the Mill Rock Resources portfolio. Sure. We, we sure have a, a lot going on, Maurice. As, as you know, we were quite aggressive uh, over the last uh, few years, buying up uh, projects, staking claims, and, and, uh, and developing new projects. And uh, that's all uh, coming forward now. Uh, things are clearly on the uptick. The, the major and mid-tier companies uh, must have uh, bigger budgets because they're there's lots of them uh, looking at our projects and uh, uh, talking to us about um, making exploration agreements. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have more of those soon. So we'll become even more active. Uh, but uh, we we're, uh, have also been very active on the El Picacho project, a very similar style gold project in Sonora State, also being funded by Santerra Gold as they earn their way into an interest in that project. And our geologic teams have been coming up with some uh, high quality targets at that project as well. And I would think that we'll be drilling that uh, by uh, this fall. Uh, in the meantime, uh, our partner in Alaska, Polarex, uh, junior Australian company, uh, has uh, raised uh, cash to uh, advance uh, exploration. So we'll be mounting quite a good program there in June, uh, at least a couple of million dollars of drilling to uh, further expand upon at the Alaska Range Project uh, on the Zackley high-grade copper gold deposit uh, that uh, we delineated uh, on behalf of PolarX uh, last year. And uh, we uh, hope to expand that deposit significantly this year. So, uh, you know, we've started drilling as of yesterday again at Navidad, and we'll uh, continue, or uh, there'll be two programs running concurrently, I suspect, uh, in June. And uh, we'll then uh, uh, probably start drilling at Al Picacho in September. So, a drill turning on one project or the other uh, uh, for the probably for the remainder of the year uh, for Mill Rock. And as you know, uh, every one of those holes is a chance uh, for us to reward our shareholders with a discovery. That's really exciting news. A lot of moving pieces there. Last question. What did I forget to ask? Well, uh, Maurice, uh, as a shareholder, uh, you might ask, uh, why is Millrock's share price uh, 22 or 23 cents? And, uh, you know, uh, it's a tough one to answer. We've seen our share price be depressed. Uh, you know, it's sort of across the board uh, in junior explorers. I know a lot of them are having difficulty raising cash at this time. So it's still a pretty tough market out there. Uh, it just doesn't seem like investors are fully engaged and interested. 
Um, I, I think uh, maybe part of it is is gold price. Uh, we've seen uh, over the last couple of days, uh, again, a, a pullback. And, you know, it just seems in our sector, uh, gold price really controls and dictates the amount of investor interest uh, in junior stocks, junior explorers like ours. So we're hopeful uh, for uh, the gold price to, to go back up. I, I personally think that all the fundamentals are very strong for that. Um, and, you know, zinc and copper are strong. We have projects uh, with those commodities, but it just seems that the gold price dictates the amount of investor interest. And so I think uh, when that comes, then uh, you'll, you'll certainly see the share price uh, prices generally across the board increase and uh, hopefully mill rocks too. But uh, in the meantime, uh, with uh, all, all the drill projects we've got lined up for the remainder of the year, uh, if we make a discovery, I know our share price will increase. Gregory, if someone listening wants to get more information regarding Millrock Resources, please share the contact details. Oh, sure. They, they could uh, call Melanie Henderson at our Investor Relations uh, uh, office in Vancouver. Uh, the number's on the website, which, of course, you can find uh, by checking for millrockresources.com. And last but not least, please visit our website, www.provenimprobable.com, where we interview the most respected names in the natural resource space. You may reach us at contact at provenimprobable.com. Gregory Beischer of Millrock Resources, thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. Always a pleasure, Maurice, and I look forward and hope uh, to see you uh, in Vancouver a couple of months from now in July. Looking forward That's to it, sir. Conference. Right. And for our listeners, we want to share with you that Millwork Resources is a sponsor of Proven Improbable and that we are proud shareholders of Millwork Resources for the virtues conveyed in today's message. Thanks again, Maurice. Bye now. Thank you for joining us today on Proven Improbable. Remember to like and subscribe for more conversations with the most respected names in the natural resource space. Check out our website at www.provenandprobable.com. The information presented on Proven Improbable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.